Well, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. It is a gorgeous day for working outside today. Not too hot, sun's high in the sky, and it looks like we're going to get a lot done today. I was out seeing our friends Dave and Kevin Farmer at Farmer Equipment Sales, and they gave me a little something new to try out. Why don't you grab your coffee and come along? Cheers. So this past week I went up to see Dave and Kevin at Farmer Equipment Sales because I had to drop off the flail mower that they had loaned us for the last month and a half. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, Dave and Kevin Farmer at Farmer Equipment Sales is a family-run business, small business out of central Ontario, really nice folks, and they deal in farm equipment or rural equipment, things for your tractors, implements, attachments, uh, different types of equipment you might need around your property. And uh, a couple of months ago, uh, we had uh, worked together on a relationship where they've been kind enough to loan us equipment throughout the year for us to test and try and so that folks like yourself can see how different types of equipment actually work. Uh, because for a lot of us, we've never, you know, it's our first exposure to it. So they'd given us a flail mower, which we'd used, as, as you may see on the channel, and I was returning it last week. While I was there, Kevin says to me, uh, so Gord, what are, you, what are you doing over the next month or two? What are you up to? And I said, well, Kevin, up here in the rurals, I said, it's firewood season. We are splitting, cutting trees, blocking and splitting wood because we've got to fill my neighbor's woodshed before the snow flies. And he said, okay, well, he said, I could probably help you out with that. And I said, that's great. Are you guys coming up to split wood? And he laughed a little and he said, I can do you one better. He says, come on around the back of the shop. And uh, sure enough, he did. Why don't you come check it out with me? You got it. It's a log splitter and I couldn't be happier. This is the time of the year when I think it's probably similar to yourself, the big push is on. We got to get that woodshed filled with firewood before the snow flies. So this is going to come in really handy over the next two months. Before we drag it into the forest and start splitting today, I just want to take a minute to tell you a little bit about it. Unit is made by Brave Products out of the US and a little shout out to one of our longtime subscribers, Jackson, made in your home state of Minnesota. It's a two-way splitter, got seven second cycle time, uh, it'll take up to 24 inch lengths, it's got an eight inch wedge, it's high carbon steel, it's a four inch bore on the cylinder and it's rated at 20 ton. So we'll see how this thing works with the really tough stuff. It's towable on the back of your ATV or your car. Uh, you can tow it up to 45 miles per hour. It's got a two inch ball on it. Comes with the safety chains and the pins. Has a collapsible front leg for towing and the pins are included. What I'm really happy about and I can't wait to try it out is it's got tables on both sides and they're removable tables. We've never had tables before so this is gonna be a bit of a luxury not having to try to balance the log between the two of us as we're spinning it and trying to split it. So I'm looking forward to using the tables. From a power perspective, powered by a Honda 160 engine, about 4.6, 4.7 horsepower, it's 160 cubic centimeters. Hydraulic uh, reservoir is here between the, the tires. It's got a two-stage pump, 11 gallons per minute. And as we mentioned, pretty easy operation one way or the other. And she weighs about 360 pounds. So let's uh, throw this thing on the ATV, let's get her out into the forest and let's split some wood. Cheers.
Okay, we got her back in the forest. We're ready to go. Today we're doing a little bit of birch and we're doing some maple. Let's see how she performs.
Yeah, I really love it. Quick, really quick. Kind of makes you wish we always had a two-way, eh? <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna grab these, take them up top, and we're gonna stack them up. We've got a day ahead of us and a lot of piles of blocks, so stick around, we're gonna stack these up. Okay, we had a great day today. Got a lot of work done, really productive. We got a couple of trailer folds of block wood split and stack. So our wood stack 2018 submission, slowly getting there. As far as the log splitter today, at the risk of stating the obvious, this thing was such a luxury for us today. It worked great. Uh, we've never had tables before, and uh, we've got a normal everyday hydraulic splitter that splits one way. And you don't realize until you have a two way, how much time you actually waste splitting wood, waiting for that piston to come back so you can split the next log. When you're able to go both ways, you probably notice Guy and I have been doing this together a long time, so we've got a process down. And now that we've got tables and we're able to split both ways, you realize how much the time is usually wasted with the old splitter trying to hold logs or waiting for the next turn. So we literally filled the bucket on his tractor and that full trailer in less than 25 minutes, and we weren't rushing, we were just doing our normal pace. And usually with the regular log splitter, it takes us at least an hour just to fill the trailer. So I, I think clearly it's a lot more efficient. Ran great. Honda engine ran excellent. We've filled two trailers, and we still haven't used a tank of gas yet. So she worked really well today. I hope you folks enjoyed it, found it informative. So far, so good. We did mostly maple today, a little bit of birch. And as we go forward, we're going to try it on different types of wood and different sizes of wood so we can see how this 2010 works. But so far, so good. Thanks for sticking around, I appreciate it. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you wanna know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again. Cheers.